your love, I knew I had to get your love, girl. I said I knew each one's the only love, the only love for me. What did you think when you saw that tweet? Well, very shocked about it, actually. And, uh, and I think it's absolutely disgusting, especially when that picture is not just sort of... It, it's not like it just has sort of, you know, Caucasian people on there and they're saying, oh, these are foreigners, we don't really want them in. That's bad enough anyway. But to specify and actually have brown coloured people there, you know, it's, it, I don't think it gets any more racist than that. It, it, it can't be mistaken. And I think, personally, you know, 100% it's a racist comment and, uh, and and it's not doing very good for the unity of the area, you know. Cliftonville, Margate is actually just becoming a, has been a little less racist lately now that people have started to get used to the different races around and so on. And they realise that not everybody from, you know, Kosovo or Czechoslovakia or Poland is a bad person. In fact, a lot of them want to work and without these people, it will be an even more of a poorer place. But then I think there's a lot of friendly people in Thanet that are not racist and then right now it's a bit of a mix. Some people just think, oh, I'm not racist, but I just don't want all these people that are foreigners over here. And it's like, then it is only just becoming, only just beginning to be a, a multicultural place with many different races and so on. It's just beginning to be like that now. It makes life more exciting. And if we took all of the ethnicity out of Britain, Britain would be a very boring place. What do you think he should do now? He's done this, put this tweet on the internet. He's sort of justified it. What do you think he should do? I think he should basically, obviously, apologise for what he said. And he really shouldn't be working in politics. He should, he should step down, I think. That's the truth. Step down, step down from the party, I think. How do you feel when you, you, you realise there's a lot of people uh, are saying they're going to vote UKIP in this area, going to vote for Nigel Farage? Yeah. When you walk down the streets of Thanet mm. and you think, well, a lot of those people are going to vote like that because they really don't want people like yourself here, that they're actually motivated by saying we want to have our country back, which by which they mean just getting rid of, of all foreigners out of the country. How does that make you feel when, you, when you're in a... It makes me feel sad, but it doesn't make me feel, feel too empty because I realise that there's a lot of good people out there that will connect, and there's so much life just out there in general, you know, that you can connect with anyone or anything you want, and it's, and it's down to you to choose your path in life. So I, I'm, I think it's very important not to be too upset by that, but I must admit it doesn't... It makes me only feel more sad for them, if that makes sense. Please do not vote UKIP because... Everything what they're telling you is, is, is just a load of lies just to get you in there. So, yeah, other than the fact that they're racist, that's the only thing that they're really telling the truth about.